And let's go in depth on this uh, topic tonight. Uh, joining us for this conversation is Professor Shin Sadon from Sungmyung Women's University. Thanks so much for coming in today. Pleasure. So investors seem to be punishing Korea's uh, markets these days mm -hmm. uh, since the announcement of the stimulus. Mm -hmm. Should South Korea worry? Of course, um, the hardest hit area is exchange rate because yen used to be 1,401 per 100 yen, but now it drops below 950 uh, for almost first time in almost three years. So the yen becomes so weak against the dollar as well as so weak against the Korean currency mm -hmm. that makes uh, Japanese exporters become very competitive against. Korean exporters, not just in the global market, but in the, in the domestic market. So, uh, so the Korean manufacturers have to face some um, severe challenge from Japanese, you know, producers such as you know, beer or mm -hmm. tires. So uh, it's not just you know Toyota versus Hyundai Motor Corporation. The broad spectrum of commodities. I think Korean manufacturers will lose competitiveness against. Japanese counterparts. So the first group that usually raises their hands when there's some sort of exchange rate uh, policy shift in such a dramatic fashion are exporters mm -hmm. and uh, Korean um, automobile makers, as you just mentioned, uh, seem to be taking a hit. Toyota, on the other hand, raised its profit forecast because of mm -hmm. this uh, exchange rate up, up, uh, a shift. Mm -hmm. Uh, how long do you think this effect will last on uh, Korean um, manufacturers and exporters? Well, the yen, the weak, weak yen started about two years ago when the Prime Minister Abe took office at the end of 2012. Usually, according to my research, usually it's going to take about two years for the full effect on Korean exports will emerge. So it's going to be about two years after the, uh, the Abe took office, and now is the uh, the time that the uh, effect will begin to materialize. So we haven't seen actually in the global market uh, the effect of the weakest yen. Now of the we first are first round. Yeah. So, so now we're seeing the first round effects, and then two years later we'll, we'll see the second round effects. Right. So far, you know, if you look at the trade volume, or especially the trade volumes in automobile industry, we don't see a tangible, you know, reduction in the. Uh, uh, automobile exports. So uh, now I think the real effect will begin to materialize in the automobile industry and the uh, ICT industries and also a lot of uh, parts and the material industries. So for the last 20 years, the tri Korean manufacturers tried to substitute Japanese imports, but the, the 20 years of gaining in competitiveness in those areas, we are beginning to lose, and uh, the actual data will begin to show up down the road you know, from, from the end of this year. And especially early next year, we're going to see a dramatic fall in the export volumes. Do you think the Choi nomics was not enough, or do you think we need more of it? Well, you know, to me, the main effect of Japanese policy is not the size of the quantitative easing. Mm -hmm. uh, the real effect is the yen, mm -hmm. and the yen broke 110 level, and I am afraid that the level will, I mean, the, the yen rate will reach over 120 or maybe 130, in which case, you know, it's going to be a very devastating effect on Korean exports in all spectrum of you know ex exports, um, not just to the uh, automobile industry. We're going to have uh, parts, raw materials, mm -hmm. chemical, even the shipbuilding or, or, or steel and you know steel product industry. I think we're going to have a tremendous challenge from Japanese uh, counterparts. So does the Korean government fight this with uh, you know, reforming its entire economy, as uh, has been said, with a lot of the um, economic reform measures? Or can there actually be a monetary policy that can be applied on our side? And will, it, will this um, re, you know, recent stimulus surprise mm -hmm. um, affect uh, the Bank of Korea? First, you know, if you compare the size of stimulus package between Korea and Japan, you can compare that, because Japan's 100 trillion yen which is about 1,000 trillion won versus 40, 40 you know, trillion. So it's about you know, less than 30%, 40% again. So, so it, it, the size of stimulus package we can compare. And about the transforming the industry, it's going to take a long time. 
after all industries have lost their competitiveness, right? So we need to do something dramatic to at least survive this kind of challenge. And in that respect, I think, you know, Choinomics so far has done very little. All right. So, well, there's a lot of work ahead for us to okay. do. <laughs> That's, right. That sounds, uh, sounds quite challenging. Thanks so much for joining us and sharing your My expertise. Pleasure. My pleasure.